Becky and I are getting ready to go to Arizona probably in about two weeks, depending on the weather. One of the things I need to do before we leave is do a little tutorial on plowing snow on our driveway in the event that we get a couple of feet of snow, which can happen here in Central Oregon. Our house sitter and a couple neighbors may need this information. So this is basically information on how to run a model 3015 Branson tractor and basics on plowing snow. First of all, start the tractor up. Turn the ignition switch to the on position. Watch for the glow plug, which preheats the engine. It's the little squiggly line on the bottom right hand corner of the dash display. Watch that little red light. When it goes off, you're ready to start it. If it's extremely cold, you may have to repeat this process, maybe even two or three times. Usually though, it will start the first time. If the engine isn't turning over, check the PTO switch. It needs to be in the off position. Can't be in the independent or linked positions. Make sure it's in the off position. The independent position just means that the PTO is running anytime the engine is running. The linked position means that the PTO will be turned off when the three-point hitch is lifted to the top. So anyway, to start, make sure that's in off position. And try it again. If it's still not turning over, make sure you don't have your foot on the one of the foot pedals. On this tractor, uh, it's a lot like just the average garden tractor where you have hydrostatic drive. Push on the forward lever. The farther down you push, the faster it goes. And pushing the reverse, same thing. Make sure you don't put any pressure on those pedals. If you put any pressure at all, the engine won't start. To operate the front end loader, you have a joystick valve control on the right hand side of the steering column. Lifting and lowering the handle moves the boom up and down. Going side to side tilts the bucket. To move the three-point hitch up and down to raise and lower the blade on the rear of the tractor, this is the lever. All the way back is all the way up. Keep in mind when you're plowing snow, you don't really want to go all the way to the ground. Try to keep it two or three inches above so that you don't scoop up a lot of gravel. To operate the speed of the tractor, if you're moving a lot of snow at once, you may want to go into low range all the way forward on this lever. Generally though, mid-range works really well. And of course, uh, rarely will you use the high speed. Keep in mind on this also to go from A, B, or C ranges. It may be stiff by moving the tractor forward or in reverse just slightly. It'll engage real easy. More than likely, you're going to need four-wheel drive. This is the engage lever for four-wheel drive. It needs to be all the way down. Keep in mind, you may need to move the tractor forward just slightly or and reverse just slightly to engage it. I usually just push down with my heel, not real hard, but you'll feel it engage when you push down. Once you're in four-wheel drive and you're still spinning some, you have the option of locking the differential. And by pushing and holding down with your left heel on this lever, it will lock the rear axle, which gives you basically positive traction on the rear. And it'll spring back up. And the reason for that is if you engaged it and left it engaged, you'd wear the rear tires out real fast, especially if you're on a hard surface like concrete or blacktop. So it needs to be disengaged unless you absolutely need it. In the event you're getting close to the highway or running a little bit on the highway, it's not a bad idea to switch the flashers on the left hand switch on the dash. The right hand switch will turn on big floodlights that are mounted on the canopy, which will light up everything at night real well. This little knob in front of the seat directly below the seat is the hydraulic flow control for the three-point hitch. Basically this controls the downward movement of the three-point hitch. You can make it drop fast 
or slow it down. Plowing the snow with the rear blade, you will want to lower it down within a couple inches of the, the gravel or pavement. Stay to the right hand side of the driveway all the way down, then come back up also staying on the right hand side coming back up the driveway. That'll push the snow off to the side. Well that's the basic functions of this little branch on 3015H. Hopefully that'll help in case we have a lot of snow in Central Oregon. Neighbors and housekeepers here can can handle it okay. Thanks for watching.